Kenner. Most people want to claim to be an expert on laser engraving. Well, I'm not an expert, but I sure enjoy this. And I made a mistake. I messed up my Xtool D1. And I want to share with you what I did so you don't make the same mistake if you go to purchase one. The problem was, was I was using a rotary device like this on a glass and I didn't have it quite level. So when the laser would come across, it would dip and get too close in one area and not close enough. It wasn't maintaining the level. Now I fixed the problem with the X-Tool R2A. It actually has a leveling device, but if you if you get your laser out of whack, what will happen is it will get closer to the material, which is not optimal, which is why you have the little drop down measurement arm. So what I did was I I clouded the lens cover, which diminished the strength of the laser. I was getting a really nice etch like this, and it came down to where what it looked like was I was painting on the glass. So that's not really terrible. As a matter of fact, some of my friends, because you know the stuff like the Punishers and the Skulls are very popular for men on these, they like the more rustic look. So I'm not getting rid of these, but I do need that part. It's not that expensive, but I did mess up. If you're looking for a consistency, you wanna make sure that you clean your machine. Now, the way that I did mine was I bought some of these big Q-tips and I bought, got these from Rockler, but I saw them at Hobby Lobby also. I just take a little spray alcohol, I put it on the tip, and then I very lightly touch the bottom of the lens it cover. That picks up most of it. Then I take, I pull some of this off and I do it again because I don't want to take and rub that same soot back in and scratch that lens. So I get the majority with a larger one and then I go to a smaller one and then to a smaller one until I'm getting nothing off. But I do not press on it hard enough that I'm going to scratch that lens. My problem was I didn't do it frequently enough. It was my own fault. Now I've got to wait to get one of those lens covers so that I can again get the full benefit of the, the strength of the laser. A little hint, there's another program out there called Lightburn. I didn't realize this when I purchased the laser, but you can get a 30 day free trial on Lightburn and it's featured right in the X-Tool um, website. I'm going to put a link for that down there. I just didn't know that this was available. I figured out how to do what's called an array. That'll be another video in the future. If you haven't subscribed, I really appreciate it. If you did, it supports the channel. I also have an affiliate link. So if you're interested in buying any product from Xtool, I'd collect a small commission. I have been told that there is going to be a special promo code. Hopefully by the time I post this video at the end, the promo code and terms will be at the very end. Now, if you, if the, the promo code has an expiration date. So if you're thinking about buying this, but you've seen it, you, it's six months old, the, the promo code's expired, either email me and I'll see if I have another promo code that I can give you, or go to my most recent video on Xtool or my shop adventures. If I've got a promo code, it's gonna go in there. I wish you all the best and keep your machine clean. Run over those rails. Get everything as good as you possibly can. Thank you.